This is Mr. Kostjuk. I'm a teacher in the Virtual Academy of the Ottawa Catholic School Board. This is a crystal radio project for a grade 5 class. We use as much uh, scrap material as possible. That's an old cutting board flipped over to its clean side. This is a uh, post from an election sign and a used paper towel roll. We use uh, pencils and T-squares to properly measure our wood. And we screw our wood together with screws. It's easier with a power tool. You see two pieces of wood are now connected together to form an L shape. Cracked a little bit, but it's okay. Now attach the L shape to the side of the uh, cutting board, and that makes a good base for our electronic circuitry. We were going to use PVC tubing for the uh, tuner coil, and so I cut it to a length similar to a toilet paper roll here. Back in the house, I cut uh, two six inch by six inch uh, squares from aluminum foil. I found I, I could write on it with a pen so I could uh, measure and cut it to nice uh, precise shapes. The foil is wrapped around one end of the paper towel roll and secured with masking tape. The other roll is taped to the seven by seven inch piece of paper. It is then rolled up and secured with masking tape. That goes over the paper towel roll to form a capacitor. The PVC tube was going to be used for the tuning coil, but the magnet uh, wire kept slipping off. So I went back to the original toilet paper roll, and it worked just fine. The magnet wire was uh, wrapped around 25 times on one end, and then we used another wire again to wrap it around 90 times. There was a 1 8 space between the two coils on that uh, toilet paper roll. Outside, a uh, bicycle spoke was heated up using a little heat, uh, flame there and then it was bent so I can make a nice uh, even uh, circle so I, it would form a nice sweeping uh, tuner rod. I also use an alligator clip on the end of a, a piece of wire so that it was easy to attach to a ground. Wires were stripped using a wire stripper which makes it very easy because it cuts off the wire uh, insulation but not cut the wire itself. Now we're starting to attach different portions to the uh, cutting board layout. So that was the antenna and that was the ground. Here we have the uh, diode. Diode is very small. It only allows uh, current to go one direction which is vital for this project. We also need a crystal earphone. Without that the project's not going to work either. And this is what it's starting to look like now. So all the wires are connected to the uh, different portions of the uh, board. Uh, the tuning uh, coil was sanded down to expose the wire because it has insulation on it. And you may want to stop the video and look at the wiring diagram to show how all the pieces go together. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what happened outside. So here's our completed uh, crystal radio project and I have it out on the front stairs here. I connected the um, ground here using it. I set up to my alligator clip onto the pipe. Now that of course connects to the layout of the crystal radio. I have an antenna here that I've just quickly kind of just laid across a couple of trees and it's over to the neighbor's place there. So what we have here <clears throat> This is a tuner. Uh, this is the antenna tuner, antenna wire. This is the, the adjustment for the antenna. So that's like an antenna tuner. Uh, that was my previous antenna. It didn't work that well. So I went to a more professional one that I bought online. See how the antenna comes in here, it connects to the antenna lead over here. We have our crystal earpiece which connects to the diode here, to the ground here. Many things depend on the ground. So we have the capacitor going to the ground. We have the, uh, the sweeper blade, which selects our stations. It goes to the ground. We have the other end of the antenna tuner coil. I mean, the tuner coil goes directly to the ground. Many things go to the ground. So without the ground, it's not gonna work. And then when I selected 
this particular part of the dial, I could hear a radio station. And by adjusting this, I could increase its volume slightly right there. So just like the example on the uh, video, it does work. Now, one thing I didn't do with the video did is I have a different type of connector here. You see that? This is actually a bicycle spoke and it's on a screw. There's a washer there so it can move back and forth. The, um, and I'm using the ground. I'm using the, like I mentioned, I'm using the <laughs> a cold water pipe. Now I'm outside right now and if I put this into the speaker, you're not going to hear it, but I'll give it a try. No. no I don't think you're going to hear anything. It's very weak, but I, but I can make out the conversation, you know. I'm going to try it later on uh, inside where it's quieter and, and I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to go in the basement where I'm going to connect the ground to a water pipe downstairs. So, but it does work. Yes. So the crystal radio project, as you see right here, does work. So that's going to be your project. You are going to describe, you're going to do a project in groups, not individually, in groups. And you're going to um, explain what material is needed and then what needs to be done with the material. For example, like the uh, two pieces of aluminum foil needs to be cut into six by six pieces. It needs to be wrapped around a paper uh, towel tube. You need to get some magnetic uh, magnet wire that you need to wrap around the toilet paper roll 90 times. And then you need to do it again for the uh, antenna tuner right beside it. You need to get a diode. Without a diode, this project's not going to work. And then you need to wire it all together. And then, of course, you're going to need an antenna wire, like you see over here. And, of course, you're going to need your ground attached to something that goes into the ground. Like a cold water pipe is the most common things they use for um, grounding uh, for radios. One thing uh, I'm going to ask you to do as well, I'm going to ask you to do a wiring diagram. I'm going to set up a, um, like we did before with the simple uh, light bulb circuit. I'm going to set up a, all these di different components and it's your job as the um, each team. You're going to wire it up showing you where we, each wire goes. Take note that a lot of wires will be going to the ground. So you may want to use different colors just to show where they go. And I'll be helping uh, every group as we go. Okay, so but there we go. There's our crystal radio project. It does work. You can pick up radio stations without no electricity at all because up here in the sky and all around us, electrical waves from radio stations are, are transmitting and with an antenna and a simple circuitry here, we can pick it up for free. Isn't that amazing? So that's gonna be our final science project for, you, for this year for Mr. Kostuk's um, grade five class. It's going to be a lot of fun. Signing out. This is a test video with the, with the microphone right up against the uh, thing. Let's see if we can pick it up. Can we hear?